a little by surprise and taking a bunch of damage. He's going to pick off this Zealot and then run away. Not quite worth it to lose a Mutalisk, but now very aware of where this army is and as a result, able to just move in. And that's, uh, that's a really sharp move to just counterattack immediately. The Dragoons move out and just swing around behind and uh, what are these Mutalisks going to do? It looks like they're retreating and the reason for this is that um, there are enemy forces near the base, so they are going to be needed for defense. Overmind is conscious of considerations like this. These Mutalisks are going to be pulled, pulled back to fight these Dragoons, losing one to seven colonies. These Zerglings really not doing anything at all. And uh, this is a pretty big force. I don't know if these Mutalisks will be able to handle it, but Xterms has left a clump of Dragoons back at his base, so that might make a big difference in this battle. You see pretty good micro here. A lot of Mutalisks staying out of firing range. It was pretty good, pulling, uh, doing to some extent pulling back the ones taking fire, which is very nice, but needs to get these Mutalisks up into the fray a little bit more, but it does look like even though the management of this battle wasn't completely perfect, it looks like he's going to manage to take out every single one of these Dragoons. And I have to say, Overmind is looking in pretty good shape right now, even though that was a lot of damage he took. This base has not been mining for a while. All the drones were transferred up here. And uh, let's see if he transfers them back when the threat is gone. And there, kills the last Dragoon, kills the last Dragoon. And let's see. Oh, look at that. Drone transfer. <laughs> Perfect timing. Fourth base going down at the bottom of the map. So this is starting to become the scary stage for the Overmind's macro. These Dragoons might not be enough to deal with uh, big Mutalisk forces. Of course, uh, Overmind lost a lot of Mutalisks in that battle. So kind of strong force pushing up to the top uh this might be because x terms thinks overmind will have expanded up here so that's a pretty sharp move but of course the expansion is down here so this push is not going to do very much at all and it might actually open him up to some harassment from these mutalisks which are still not quite at the scary numbers they were at before although looking at the supply count 106 supply for the overmind 81 for X terms and oh going a little bit single file out here but oh nice pulling back the targeted dragoon that is a really sharp move so he managed to avoid losing any dragoons in that fight by just pulling this guy back and he actually pulled the mutalisks into the firing range of these other dragoons so really good there these mutalisks though perfectly positioned to attack this base and there's really not very much here if they go after these two cannons it could be very messy um they are going to go over here, though. Oh, Dragoon there is going to try to pick off that Dragoon. Yep, he's going to go for that Dragoon. Uh, decent job pulling it back. Does manage to kill it off, though. Uh, and oh, no, more single file lining up. And pulling, still managing to pull back. Saves this Dragoon. That's pretty impressive. Uh, that is going to get picked off by a Mutalisk. But really nice to make it live as long as possible and just pull these Mutalisks, as I said, into the firing range of the other Dragoons. Really good moves there. Overmind has managed to saturate this base and is getting, I guess this is supposed to be a backup lair. Uh, let's see. Oh, huh. Getting actually three additional lairs. So this might be a bug. I think a backup lair is a good idea and a backup spire can also be a good idea if you were going for this really, really heavy middle style because that way Overmind can sort of rebuild from scratch. And uh, that helps a lot, as you might imagine, against kind of one trick pony bots where you have some really killer attack at some point in the game, but don't have any good follow-up or macro. That way, uh, Overmind can recover. So good idea building a backup lair, which is of course dying now. But I don't know how I feel about additional backup lairs. Has got any Queen's Nest and is going up to Hive, which I don't think we've seen in the previous two games. Getting shot at a lot by the Middle East. Oh, these are plus two Carapace, plus zero attack. Getting the plus one attack just now. Might be getting the Hive for plus three Carapace. Anyway, X Terms does manage to take out this base, and oh no, Mutal is engaging. Not at all a good position to be engaging in. Gonna take out several more, and it's looking like at this stage <laughs> of uh, the Overmind's development, control against Dragoons, pretty important. So, did get worked on, as I said. Expansion going on here, being harassed by only one Mutalisk. Bringing around too many Dragoons to deal with that, though. Just gonna run away. I think I might have missed this harassment over here. But lots more Dragoons coming out. Look at this though, Overmind expanding up here and expanding up here and expanding down here. So really unashamedly just 
macroing its little silicon heart out. Okay, more Mutalisk poking around here, but the Mutalisk numbers have just shrunk too much. Looking at supply again, 99 supply for the Zerg and 109 now for X-Terms. So X-Terms in a pretty solid position. If this uh, Nexus does manage to go up, he's going to be doing quite all right, maybe even matching the Zerg in economy and definitely has the right unit mixture to deal with, <laughs> with the Zerg's unit mixture. And by mixture, I mean um, no mixture at all. They are going all one unit transferring drones up here and unfortunately that means a lot of them are going to get taken out by these dragoons and the dragoons arriving just in time no sunken's have gone down at either of these bases so he will be able to pick them off both pretty easily uh looking over here by the way he's gotten a ton of sunken colonies in this base and a whole bunch as well in his uh, natural so at this stage of the game doing a great job defending all of those expansions so many dragoons out absolutely crazy and since these moodles do not do not know how to engage these dragoons it's pretty clear uh, it's pretty clear that x terms is going to take this game from here kills this base doesn't know about this base i think and uh, drone transfer is sneaking off down here always impressive to see those perfect drone transfers taking out a couple of dragoons and just kind of whittling down X-Term's forces, but considering that he does have this third base up and pretty well defended, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yeah, all these Dragoons just caught out, caught out in the middle of nowhere. None of their buddy Dragoons to help them. And you should think about pulling these back to be in a better position. Caught up on the high ground there is not really beneficial in any particular way this base running quite well this base running fine too <laughs> i think x terms has been on only three gateways this entire game which um it's a bit questionable but i have to say macro is pretty impressive given that he has been on only three gateways and he's gonna move forward and i think this is gonna be it basically I'm going to be pushing into the natural expansion and not really anything that these Mutalists are going to be able to do about that. Uh, sunk, a lot of sunken colonies, but not going to be too many. Um, yeah, frontline dragoons here, a little exposed to sunken colonies, but a nice arc to deal with the angle these Mutalists are coming in from. So, taking a huge number of shots. Zerg supply plummeting down to 102 now against, well, actually against only 102 for the Protoss. But, oh, dancing back and forth in this line of death, now moving forward again to pick off these sunken colonies. And since Zerg has been macroing so well, no real gas to rebuild Mutalisks very quickly. So, you know, continues to try to do so valiantly, but certainly the natural has been broken and he'll be able to go up here and kill the three layers and one hive. Yeah, I think, think, yeah, okay, now I remember. This was some kind of bug where, for some reason, all of the hatcheries would get upgraded to lairs. Kind of bizarre. Anyway, hope this gave you a good sense of some of the issues that <laughs> were being addressed early on. We're going to go on to game four, which is another game versus X-Terms. This time him playing Terran and going Goliaths, and we're going to see how that goes in just a minute here. So, hope you enjoyed this, and this is Moduli Stack telling you to... Uh, Keep your stations tuned to this channel and uh, see you in game four.